All right, so we're gonna go from the mount to the, the back. One of the first things to do, uh, so this is essentially, what we talked in the first lesson, Tiago was trying to push. Often if he realizes that's not a good idea, he'll often try to turn his back by, by turning on his side, like so. Okay, so we wanna take advantage of this and take the back. So what I'm gonna do here, as he turns, I'm gonna post my hands on the mat, so I can, my, again, my, my hips are light now. I'm gonna put my knee behind his head, and I put my left foot tucked nice and close to his body. All right, so I'm still keeping good control here. From there, I'm gonna reach, put my chest behind this elbow, and reach my right hand so that I can feed and grab Tiago's uh, wrist here, all right? This is, uh, this is a really, we call this the, the gift wrap, okay? So once you grab that, that hand, it's really hard for Tiago to roll back to his back. He's actually got only one way he can go, which is to keep turning his back. Uh, in a self-defense point of view, this is a great spot to, uh, where you can obviously set up attacks as well as strikes from here, okay? Uh, if we wanna take the back here, we're gonna feed our hands together and I grip both, both wrists. So I go under the arm, grab my wrist, and then I'm just gonna fall to my right hip and then left hip. So I just sit, but still forward, okay? So I'm on my hip, and then I go to the other side, and now I'm on my, I'm on my left hip now, and I can take the back. Tiago's gonna turn, I post my hands on the mat, my knee goes behind the head, I get that gift wrap position, so with his head trapped around from here, I'm gonna sit on my left hip, sorry, my right hip, and then my left, left hip, and then we're gonna get two hooks, okay? So one hook around this leg, what does the hook do? It stops Tiago turning to the right, and the other hook stops Tiago turning to his left. So I'm now stuck to, to Tiago's back, and I can start to set up the finish, all right? So from the back here, we're gonna do the rear naked choke. My head will go next to Tiago's head. My hand will go all the way through, as deep as possible, to grip onto his shoulder. My other hand, We'll swim behind the neck, and then I'm gonna grip onto my bicep here, near the shoulder as well. So essentially, if you think about it, it's like I'm gripping both of my shoulders right now. All right, so again, coming around the neck, behind the head, and we grip onto both of our shoulders here. All right, now, this should be really easy. Once you've got this, it's, it's over, okay? You, you should be able to get the, the choke pretty much 100% of the time. You just have to do the right action. I'm gonna pull, like, pull my elbows tight, squeezing my elbows towards each other, and then I row backwards and push my chest forwards. What I'm doing, I've got, I'm basically gripping both of my shoulders. I pull my elbows together a bit. The strength comes from, like, chest forward and elbows pulling, like, back towards me like this. See that gap where their neck is? That should fully close over, okay? Where I think people go wrong, they try to, like, bicep curl, like squeeze, like they're doing like this, okay? You see that doesn't fully close off. It's a lot of energy. It's not a strong muscle group as, as you can actually row. We can row backwards a lot stronger than we can, than we can squeeze, okay? So we want to do the rear naked choke. We make sure we do it in, in that way. Tiago starts to turn. I put my hands on the mat. Knee goes behind the head. I trap the, the gift wrap like we did earlier. I sit on my right hip, left hip and then I get my two hooks. Once I have that head next to the head, reach through to the shoulder, reach to my, my right shoulder, and then I feed my right hand to my other shoulder. So it should be both on each of your shoulders here. All right, from here, elbows tight, pulling back, chest forward, and we get the submission.